It has been an amazing season and sometimes I really can't believe what happened. So today we're just going to finish up the season, review the season and then look ahead because things are about to get harder in the Premier League. Let's go and kick some balls. And welcome back to the Liberty Stadium Swansea and if you are a first-time visitor then please why not subscribe like watch and comment and help the channel to grow and help us to support the very worthwhile cause you can see scrolling above and if you have been following along and our numbers are growing you will know that last episode we won the Skybet Championship and if we actually have a look at the table right now, if we can bring up the table, please, <laughs> you can see that um, we were absolutely phenomenal this season. We won it by a streak, by a full 26 points. We had 115 points at the end of the season. We were, the media prediction was eighth at the beginning, but we won 36, drew seven and lost only three. 102 goals we scored despite not having any strikers and our defense only leaked 36 all season. It was an absolutely phenomenal defensive performance. We do have problems at top we need to resolve. Um, we need to find a defensive midfielder in the summer too. But after we won the championship uh, against Cardiff, and you saw that game, th we didn't let up. The boys just kept going and we won 3-1 against Derby at home and followed that with a very, very good 2-0 win at home to sixth place at the time, Barnsley. We then um, struggled against Reading a little bit away, but we came away with a 1-0 win, and then absolutely thrashed Middlesbrough by five goals to nil. They did go off the boil a little bit against Nottingham Forest, but we still managed to come away with a 1-1 draw. Um, just a blemish on the whole month, that one orange and a sea of green. And then we came up against Queen's Park Rangers for the final game of the season. And the boys still weren't letting up and they put on an absolutely magnificent performance. And it's, it's a sign of, of how committed this team were. And, uh, well, of course it was going to be Grimes with a thunderbolt that, from outside the box that got us underway. And then Grimes involved again. Patterson, who is leaving, unfortunately, in the summer, he fed in Delap. And Liam Delap, who has been a real sensation this year, he made it 2-0. Um, and we have extended um, his loan agreement. And then a free kick from someone I wasn't expecting to score a free kick. Um, made it 3-0, Downs with the free kick, and then Grimes got his second of the game to make it 4-0. I think in midfield we only have to find one player. Um, but let's have a look at a snapshot of the season. And let's um, have a look at the new arrivals and what happened with the people who came in. Before I arrived, they brought in many, many, many players. And the only one that I... Um, the only couple that I brought in were Christoph Zimmermann, who had a phenomenal season. And despite his age, the board were very, very happy with that. Um, absolutely phenomenal season, finishing with an average rating of 7.47. Reese Williams um, also had an absolutely brilliant season on loan from um, Liverpool, and we have extended his contract. Christoph Zimmermann, um, will do a good job for us, I think, in the Premier League. He has some good attributes, as you can see, and he has been an absolute all-round brilliant player for us. Cyrus Christie, a little bit of an enigma for me. Um, his form was a little bit up and down. Reese Williams, though, if you look at how he's developed over the season, he has developed very, very well. His attributes are increasing um, quite rapidly and he's gone up by half a star over the course of the season. I would hope um, that next season as we have extended his loan as well 
that he can do develop a lot more. Ryan Christie, as I said, I'm not sure what to do about him, but Liam Delap, as I said in the game um, video, um, he will be staying. He has, uh, again, remarkable um, attributes for his age at 19 years old, but he hasn't developed a great deal over the course of the season. And um, hopefully next season he will um, be a good squad player. We've only loaned him this time as a squad player. Ogbeta, again, someone I don't quite know what to do with. His 7.19 for the season is great. And Nietzscheum, um, who came in from Celtic, um, absolutely brilliant. Um, had a great season in midfield for us. I brought in myself in January, Brooklyn's Leon Foster. And uh, in his seven appearance, he had two assists, a good average rating. Um, he can play either side. And uh, he also, at 21 years old, has a lot of development yet to do. Three and a half star potential at the moment. And I think um, he will go on to be a very good player. Flynn Downs, another surprise. Um, and he also came in and did very, very well in midfield. The 36 appearances, playing as a Carrillero, 7.04. And then the goalkeeper, Andrew Fisher, who came in before I arrived for 400,000 from MK Dons. He also, very, very remarkable, played most games and um, 7.04. After that, nobody uh, really surpassed. Finley Burns came in from on loan from Manchester City but didn't do very well. Kyle Joseph, still developing. He needs to go out on loan next year for more game time, um, but did score three goals in six appearances. And uh, disappointment, Oberfemi, who 24 appearances, six goals, six assists, never took to playing as a forward, and I don't know if we're going to keep him. Jamie Patterson already um, is um, out of the door. Um, he didn't want to stay, he was unhappy. So having scored 12 goals and six assists, it looks pretty good, but his form was one good game, three bad games, one great game, three bad games. So not really what I'm looking for. Liam Walsh, who um, was in the reserve, reserves after a period of injury, um, he did quite well, really. Um, coming back into the team at the end of the season, he might be sticking around. I don't know. He has a lot of development that he can do, yeah, I think. Um, and that's it for the players who came in. I think a remarkable achievement. Um, a lot of greens there. I'm very, very happy with how they all played. Um, the um, the board, of course, I'm very, very pleased that we came first. We were um, predicted to finish um, in eighth place, and, and it was a really, really good season for us. Liam Delap becoming the top goal scorer with 19 goals. Um, and in terms of the league table, we absolutely ran away with it. It was pretty much all over by the beginning of April. And the, the boys never let up as the season ended and we kept winning. And you can see everything is just an absolute sea of green. Um, and there are only three dots in the, in the entire schedule for the season. Three defeats in the whole season. It was an absolutely brilliant performance. I never expected this. Um, FM doesn't normally do this to me. It's a surprise. But we obviously set up well, and um, I think a lot of it is to do with um, opposition instructions. I'm starting to think that that plays a bigger part in it than you think. Um, and in terms of our biggest win, we weren't prolific scorers because we do have problems up top. Um, but the biggest win was 5-0 over Middlesbrough at the end of the season. And um, I don't really remember, I think it was at the beginning of the season that surprise 3-1 victory over Sheffield United. And the goal of the season was by um, Cyrus Christie, the fullback. Um, now people say you can't see it, but we have managed to find it. Um, and what a goal this was. Um, it's that little cut inside that he does. And then without thinking, unleashes a daisy cutter. I don't think it was goal of the season. I saw better, um, uh, but the fans seem to like it, and so um, that's okay. Um, 
the finance page is looking very, very good. And we actually have gone up half a star over the course of last season. Um, and things are looking very, very good in terms of um, our reputation and it might help us to sign the striker that we're looking for. Um, everything is up, sponsorship, broadcast revenue, uh, corporate and hospitality, competition prize money is up, everything is up on last season. And surprisingly, Nietzscheum is the uh, top shirt seller. Um, I thought it might be Grimes, but Grimes also is in the top five with uh, Piro, um, Oberfemi, surprisingly again, and Patterson. And uh, our best team, um, absolutely lovely team. And there's only one that didn't get a rating, an average rating above seven, and that was Jamie Patterson. But he's been sulking all season. But he did very, very well. Um, and they, you know, just to see all those greens again is not something that I'm used to. Very, very strong at the back and in midfield. It's up front where we have the problems. Um, I'm not sure Piro and Delap are um, going to be able to cut it. We do need to bring in a striker. We don't need an attacking midfielder because I've already decided that the attacking midfielder role is coming back to a defensive midfielder. And I'm hoping, secretly between you and me, that we can make a bid for Ndidi and he will do a very, very good job for us um, in front of the defence. But in terms of the uh, manager's awards. Well, I got the manager of the month five times during the course of the season. Um, Matt Grimes was the fans' player of the season and Reese Williams, the young player of the season. Signing of the season, Christoph Zimmerman. Goal of the month, as we know, Christy. Top goal scorer, again, we know Liam Delap. 20 goals throughout the se season. Uh, Matt Grimes, most assists with 18 and Matt Grimes, again, most player of the match um, awards with 12. Luckily, nobody seems to be interested in him at the moment. Also, Matt Grimes, highest um, average rating. And Jay Fulton, funnily enough, um, most passes completed in a game. Um, awesome record for him. Uh, most um, overall goals scored by a player in a season now belongs to Liam Delap. Matt Grimes with most assists in a season belongs now to, to him. Andrew Fisher has set the record for most clean sheets in a season. And again, Matt Grimes has set the most player of the match award records. It's record after record. Um, our disciplinary record was very, very good. Flynn Downs was the worst. Three yellows and that one red we saw early in the season. Delap was absolutely superb. Um, and the oldest goal scorer was Corey Smith, who actually isn't going to stick around with us anymore. Um, we need to get rid of a few players and uh, he will be one that will be gone. And so, yes, Swansea... Um, are back in the Premier League and what a remarkable season it was. Um, 115 points from 46 games um, and the press, were, it was a superb season for the Swans who exceeded all expectations and, and claimed the title deservedly. Um, we were relentless all through the season. And um, if we just quickly check on the squad in terms of how people did, top goal scorer, of course, Delap, Grimes chipped in with 18, and then Piro with 16, Jamie Patterson with 12. Top assists was Matt Grimes with Ryan Manning from fullback, left back, getting 10, Joel Piro 9, and Oliver Nietzsche chipping in with 8. Um, Flynn Downs chipping in with six and Jamie Patterson six. It was a great all-round season. Everybody chipped in something. Everybody did well sometimes. We have one, two, three, four, five, eleven players with an average rating of over seven. Um, absolutely tremendous, tremendous season. They all gelled together and the tactic worked. And... Um, 
while we celebrate, we can now take a look at the board vision for next season. And we really only have to fight bravely against relegation. I'm not really sure what that means. Um, whether it means if we get relegated, I'll be okay in a job. We have to play attacking football. I don't like that very much. Um, we need to defend it very resolutely. Um, but what has um, gone, interestingly, is only sign players under the age of 21. Now that does give me some room to work with in the transfer market. We may have to bring in some older people to try and um, bring a lot more experience and talent um, into, into the side. As I say, the first transfer I'm looking at is um, UDD. Um, the budget is poor for promotion, 27 million. Um, uh, but we do have a little bit of free wage budget and we will probably get um, a little bit more after selling a couple of players, but it, it really doesn't leave much wiggle room here at the moment in terms of creating more transfers. Um, but we'll see what happens when contracts are up and more wages are freed up. And so um, we have come to the end of season one and that's it for this video and um if you are new to the channel then why not subscribe like watch and comment and help the channel to grow and help us to support the very worthwhile cause that you see scrolling above we do have a great deal of work to do in the summer this squad is not good enough by any stretch to um, survive the Premier League. We'll have to see what we can do with that small amount of money. And um, I'll be back. I do have to take care of a few personal health issues. So I'll be taking a little break. Um, but I should be back in about three or four days um, with um, news of the transfer window. And the first game for Swansea in the new season in the Premier League. So I hope to see you all then. And all that remains to be said is, see you in the Premier League.